I am all exactly. loaded up. I'm ready to start the timer. You guys feel free to uh, head to whatever voice room you like here in the channel. Uh, but I think we're ready to go. If you guys can give me a seems good, good to go. Seems ready good. to start. Yeah. Hey, Mayor, thanks for organizing this. It's going to be fun. Thanks for being here, man. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and start the timer. It's time. Three, two, one. Let the Bear Taffy Bellatro Brawl begin. And we're underway. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. Can I get a quick bear clap in chat if you're here and you're pogged up and you're ready to go for a little bit of Bellatrio action with the boys? Looking forward to this, man. We got Michael A.L. Fox up there in the top left of your screen. Northern Lion up there in the top right. Dan Giesling down there in the bottom left. And that's Dumb Dog there in the bottom right. Timer's going for two hours. These folks have these entire two hours to put together their best possible round score. We're not going for a high hand score here. We're trying to put together the best round score and we'll be updating the exclamation point R1 scores and exclamation point R2 scores in chat for the corresponding rounds as we go here. Hopefully the mods will help me uh, keep those up to speed as well. Dan's pumped up, man. Now this, that, that's classic Dan. I love to see that from him. He's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and close my copy of Bellatro here so we can just focus on the game or on the uh, games on screen here for us. Mouse winding up. Mouth, I'm not sure, is, is aware that we have begun the timer, but he's, I don't know if he's worried at all, to be honest. <laughs> this could very well just be a power move from Mouth and that he, he feels absolutely no rush whatsoever. He's got a spare couple of minutes to just uh, goof around and he'll be just fine. And you know what? I don't doubt it, to be honest. I have absolutely zero doubt in my mind that that, that is actually the case. So let's go ahead and look around our screen here and see how folks are doing in the very beginning. Looks like Dan's going to pick up a driver's license early on. That's, ooh, and he's going to be polychroming that bad boy to begin with. Okay, this is already looking like a pretty exciting start for Dan here. Popping the polychrome. He's going to be trying to add as many enhanced cards to his deck as he possibly can. Of course, it's not going to be doing much for him right now besides the 1.5, so... Looking for more help there, but of course, going to be able to get going fairly well with that. F Ooh, negative flower pot is very interesting for Apollo right away. It looks like he's probably going to pass up on that, which you can't really blame him for. 11 bucks for a negative that's not going to have a ton of value for you. It's still tempting, but oh, it looks like he's just going to reroll that, actually. Yeah, fair enough. No, it's not, it's not the most tempting proposition. I, I, I'm with him on that one. So we, we've got, uh, wow, we've got three ghost decks. No, we've got quadruple ghost deck. Oh, my God. Apollo has firmly set the meta here, apparently, as you can't see it underneath uh, Mouth's webcam, though. But uh, I, I am fairly certain, given his initial hex card here, that he is also playing on the ghost deck. And that makes a lot of sense to me. I'm, I'm a yellow deck guy, not going to lie. Like, I, I far and away uh play yellow deck the most i just i really enjoy the the early economy that that provides but ghost deck is a close second for me we were just discussing it in the in the pre-game uh preamble there but the ghost deck the the simple matter of getting more access to the spectral cards is an enormous difference maker so i yeah i imagine we'll be seeing a lot of crazy plays as a result of that and we got ourselves a sigil right away up there for ryan looks like he's going to be leaning into the diamonds to begin with a hologram for Dan as well. You know what? Dan is kind of cooking already, man. Look at what he's got going on so far. He's got the polychrome driver's license, a hologram that he's going to be able to start building up right away here on Annie too. And then an acrobat for a little bit of extra boost at the end of the round. So yeah, already looking strong there. The acrobat possibly even something that he could hang on to for the long term. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see that one stick around for him for quite a while here. Looking like a brainstorm for Apollo down there in the bottom right. That's a strong start as well. Is that a polychrome brainstorm in effect? Ooh, okay. Okay, yeah. Starting to cook pretty well already down there as well. We got a polychrome vagabond up front too. Those hex cards being put to work. Let's see if Ryan can maybe start building off that tarot here. He has kept his money within the threshold. Going to be building off of that. I look, it looked like he sigiled into the diamonds early on. I think he's trying to sort of uh, get his deck into a, a more single-suited domain, as you can see, of course, by the selling of the club card immediately. 
So yeah, it looks like he's going to be playing some some flush hands to start things off. Four people playing Bellatro at the same time is a, is a, is a lot to take in. Yeah, honestly, this is probably going to be like one of the most tame uh, versions of this experience that we're going to be getting today as well here within the first five minutes. It's going to get pretty hectic pretty quickly. I might even be relying on you guys to uh, help me keep track of what's going on at all times here. They're not playing on the update. No, so that I, I probably should have... Uh, I probably should have mentioned that. Oh, yeah, that's a good call, Cho. I'll go ahead and move the timer up to the top middle. Uh, I probably should have mentioned that at the uh, top of the stream. I'll just go ahead and mention it now. Uh, the the astute among you have already likely realized that Bellatro is getting a patch um, today, I think, in fact. The game might even update as we're going here, which, of course, these guys aren't going to be getting that update, so we're, we're, we're good to go on this round here. They're currently playing on the 1.0 patch, but it's entirely possible that uh 1.0.1 .1 hits as we're going and then round two they might actually play on that which we all discussed and they seem to be uh open to that idea so we'll cross that bridge when we get there but for now we're just enjoying some good old-fashioned 1.0 but the names of the competitors on the screen i should have done that i definitely should have done that that's 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 going to be a very very difficult on the fly thing for me but i apologize i'll, I'll keep that in mind for for future broadcasts but uh, if, if it helps, it's the, it's the order of the competitors in the uh, exclamation point round one scores, in case you're unfamiliar with these guys. Anyway, let's see where we're going now. Hiker for Ryan, along with a uh, Mystic Summit to get him some additional help in the early rounds here. He goes for Satellite as well. I gotta be honest, I don't think I've ever seen that Joker before. The Satellite? What does that one do? Anyone mind giving me a little breakdown there? Dan, meanwhile, with a full set of six Jokers, not to mention, ooh, a negative stuntman. That is very good. Dan's rocking the hack. The driver's license, which I haven't kept an eye on, but I'm assuming he's uh, building toward pretty well. Still got the hologram there. He's still got his acrobat. This is already a very strong start for Dan here in inning three. Welcome back. Satellite is a money-making joker. It's a hard unlock. Extra money for planet cards played. Okay. Okay. That's it's an interesting combination with the Vagabond early on. But I assume that's probably going to be something helpful for him a little bit later. Anyway, looking back around the board here, looks like we've got... I think that's an odd Todd up there for Malf. As a starting polychrome joker, not the greatest option, but, you know, something to get you going a little bit early here. Ryan's still rocking the taros from his vagabonds, starting to get himself some really nice-looking cards in the deck. I've noticed that about Ryan. He, he likes building uh, the deck uh, a lot more than I think most of our players today will. He, he, he seems to be a lot more focused on getting the best cards available to draw as opposed to you know like building around jokers and that kind of thing slow starts for mouth and uh, apollo so far mouth up there in the top left of your screen still just rocking the solo joker he's been resetting a couple of times trying to find a solid foundation sixth sense for apollo i can yeah i was gonna say it's a safe bet he's gonna be picking that one up not to mention or uh not not even considering the uh possible additional spectral cards there I know Apollo to also be somebody who uh, very much likes to thin out his deck and uh, try to whittle it down to the very best. So similar to Ryan, but a, a slightly different approach too. Very interesting start here for Apollo. He's spending a bunch of money, but getting some really nice jokers as a trade-off. He's got that, uh, that rare four of a kind joker, which is going to be difficult to make work early, obviously, but you can certainly build into that. And especially with the start or with the Sixth Sense start that's going to give him an opportunity, ideally, to uh, thin that deck down to the cards he's looking for. Thank you very much for all the uh, subscriptions, resubscriptions today, by the way. appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in for the event today. Welcome on in, y'all. Very excited. The Bear Taffy Bellatro Brawl. I'm, I'm mostly doing a proof of concept today. I've been mentioning this a couple of times, but I, I firmly believe that this game is excellent as a spectator sport, and... This is me trying to show that off, and, I, and, and 
here you go, man. Like, look at look at all the action going on on screen right now. I've seen multiple people being like, this is this is intense, but also near impossible to follow. <laughs> but it's 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 just enough information in my mind. I th- it's it's a it's a it's a perfect balance of stimulation. And uh, just everywhere I look, there's 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 stuff to talk about. We're back on uh, Malf up here in the top left, who's grabbing himself a ramen now, which is, eh, you know, I, I used to like lo- at least to like the ramen a lot more. If you're if you're trying to avoid discarding in general, obviously it's a good way to go, and can even last fairly long. Although it's certainly never something you're really looking to build around for the long term. Although so I suppose really only Dan is. Uh, in that mode at the moment. Although Apollo's getting there. He's also managed to get himself the uh, the booster pack skip with the, uh, that looks like a, a, a holographic. So that'll be an interesting one too. I don't often find myself grabbing that. Usually when I'm opening up or cracking the packs, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get some value out of them. Although I suppose that is a good way to get guaranteed value out of them is at least you get a multiplier, right? Going to sell off the driver's license in favor of the certificate of authenticity. I like that play, actually, without any any uh, real ways to fuel the driver's license right now with no jokers or any other means of trying to add in enhanced cards. It makes a little bit more sense to uh, pivot into something that you might be able to build off of later on. Oh, that's true. That's gift card. My fault. Yeah, no, I misread that one. That's that's not the joker I was thinking of. That's... Uh, that's the gift card, which is the oh boy, it's it's tough to keep track of all of them too, especially when you can't hover over them. But yeah, if you want to remind me of what that one is too, Dan's still cooking down here, man. I'm 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 looking forward to uh, what this could potentially be. I haven't seen I don't I don't think he's gotten a ton of opportunities to add in enhanced cards yet, or really cards in general. I, I'm trying to take a peek. Yeah, that hologram's only at an X two, so oh, that's a shame. Couldn't manage to get that one cooking enough. He's going to have to reset. That was a strong start for Dan, but yeah, he's going to have to roll that back. That's right. The gift card adds the additional sell value to all your jokers. Okay, so he's just going to try to get some economy going off that early on here. Makes sense. Got a few sixes or a couple of sixes in the hand that time. I'm going to opt off of playing them for the six cents this time as Apollo. Looking like he is still mostly just trying to build toward a a four of a kind setup here but with the certificate that's obviously going to make things more difficult to just try to keep your focus as much as possible set up to ryan again and see how he's doing here he's still rocking more or less the same looking deal the swashbuckler now is going to add a little bit of extra multiplier it looks like he's got something that's a strong enough foundation to get him up through like any five or six Ooh, the negative swashbuckler not bad not bad Anything negative, obviously, going to be pretty nice. He's going to grab that foil egg, appropriately. Cracking an Arcana pack here for, uh, uh, looks like maybe a death card on the glass card could be something worth considering. Yeah, that'd be be my move in that situation, too. So not a bad start for Ryan here. Going to opt for another re-roll. A nominal pittance. Grabbing the the chariot card, grabbing the pair upgrade. All right, so he's getting himself back into that Vagabond territory again. It's looking like a pretty solid start for him, but he's certainly going to want to try to uh, find something that's going to allow him to scale a little bit better with that extra Joker slot. He's got a lot more likelihood of being able to do that. Seeing a nice-looking hand from Apollo here, and that's going to give us an idea of where his deck is at at the moment. That was about the maximum potential that he's got with his current set of Jokers, and not exactly where he needs to be, obviously, but again, we're, we're very early on for him here. He's hoping to pivot into something that's going to be a little more scalable. Thank you very much for those gifted subs as well. Welcome on in, y'all. Appreciate it. All right. Not a lot cooking so far for these guys. We're, uh, what do we say here? We got about 15 minutes of a lap so far. No strong starts just yet. It looked like Dan was maybe the best possible potential, but sadly had to reset that one around Annie three or four. Quick poll of the chat here, just by by uh, typing it in the uh, Twitch chat real quick. I'm just curious who you guys uh, are expecting to see come out on top of this first group of four here between Michael A.L. Fox, Northern Lion, Dan Giesling, and Dumb Dog. I have my suspicions, but I just want to I want get, to get get a quick feel for the audience here too. Got a lot of mouth love. Some love for Dan. I'd love to see it. Yeah, you think Apollo's got it? I think Apollo's a pretty strong contender, too. He hasn't been playing a ton of Bellatro lately, but it's Apollo, man. He's he's a gamer through and through. He's 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 going to be here making some plays. 
speaking of which, managing to get some uh, some gold sealed kings in his deck here. That's going to help him out quite a bit. Kings, I very frequently find myself building around. I mean, the Baron Joker alone is enough incentive to build uh, around the king. But of course, face cards have a lot of value with a lot of different jokers. Uh, the high chip value from the king, of course, with kings, queens, jacks, and tens, they're all of the same value. But the kings have the added value of synergizing with other builds. Speaking of the Baron, hello. Daniel with the polychrome Baron to start things off. Okay. We might have very well just uh, prophesied Dan's build here, as he is absolutely going to be gunning for uh, as many kings as he can get in the deck as quickly as he can. That kind of shoehorns him, honestly, into a, uh, a single route to take this, but that route is very promising if you can find it and follow it successfully. Double Baron, sure enough, yeah, that's going to be a Baron for Apollo as well, and he, he's already building kings. Wow, okay, that's terrific for him. Looking forward to seeing how this can go. Certificate could still be worthwhile here as well, especially the more kings he gets in the deck. Oh, no, no, actually, that's right. Certificate's just going to add new cards that are random, so he might want to get rid of that pretty soon. In fact, that's going to be... I think that's going to be more of a detriment than anything at this point, especially because he's already gotten a sealed king. I think he's more than likely going to want to try to build around those sealed kings he's already got in the deck as opposed to trying to, you know, roll the dice on finding more. Oh, no, what happened to Dan? I was focused on Apollo. Did Dan fail to meet the round score? Oh, dude, that's a shame. That polychrome Baron just tossed to the, tossed to the side. All right, well, we'll see how Dan can manage to rebuild here. Taking a look up at Mouth, not a lot to get super excited about up there either, unfortunately. I believe we have Paradalia, however the heck you say that one, which I think, if I remember right, makes all cards face cards. That would be, I think, that second Joker that Mouth has. Am I remembering that right, or am I confusing that with another one? Uh, regardless, he's got the abstract that's going to be giving him the plus three molt for each Joker in hand. He's got the uh, smiley face, which I believe is going to be scoring additional molt for face cards. And, okay, yeah, so that is the one that makes all cards face cards. So he's got a pretty solid foundation here at his mouth. Uh, still rocking that polychrome. Still got the, uh, I think that's the flush rare joker, I want to say as well. It looks like he's certainly building flush uh, given, his, uh, given his played hand frequency. And uh, that being the only one that he's managed to give a single hand level at the moment so we'll check back in on Malfit a bit here looks like he's got a pretty good foundation going and uh, I'm, I'm not sure he'll cook something up momentarily ryan rocking the steel joker now that's not that's not one i often have a lot of success with i find it very difficult to build around it's kind of like well it's honestly it's, it's it's even worse than the well not worse than the glass joker it's probably not worse than the glass joker but it's in the same ballpark in my mind where it's it's just so particular and the added value from each one that you manage to get isn't, isn't even that significant. Like it's a plus 0.25x or even if it's a 0.5 per steel card, I want, I'd, I'd, I'd struggle to say that's even worth it. It's just very difficult to get going in a big way. Yeah, that Vagabond has been really good. That's been, uh, that's been his uh, primary value generator so far in this run for sure. The Hiker, I imagine, has gotten a little bit of value for him, and that egg has been building up pretty nicely, too, especially nice for that to be a foil to add to the scoring a little bit. But, uh, yeah, nothing nothing all too crazy going on up there in Ryan's corner of the screen either, unfortunately. Apollo definitely starting to cook now. He's got himself a Mime as well, which I believe is going to re-trigger that Baron, so that's an outstanding start for Apollo. And now we got a ooh, we got a polychrome blueprint to start off for Dan. That's obviously going to be uh, not adding too much in the beginning here, but that's something that could absolutely pop off. He's got himself a hieroglyph voucher available as well, which he doesn't have the money for at the moment, but possibly now it looks like yeah, that was going to be his last chance to pick it up. So not going to be able to grab that. It would have been a nice upgrade to uh, give him a little extra time to build, but that polychrome blueprint that's certainly something that can be built off of. Ooh, speaking of hieroglyph, that's going to be a hieroglyph acquired for Malf. He's got himself an old map up there as well. 
Always love to see Malf with an old bap. Looking pretty good, actually, he's Malf. He's starting to he's starting to put something together here, especially going back in ante. He's gonna be uh he's gonna be feeling pretty good about this. Got himself an Empress in the back pocket as well for a little bit of enhancement. He's still playing the flush, I believe, but uh Really anything at this point is probably going to be enough for Malf to uh, clear the score threshold. I, I assume he's, he's more than likely going for uh, single hand clears for a lot of these rounds, trying to make as much money as he can with that. I'm just curious to see what sort of score we're looking at with Malf right now. He's probably going to Empress. Yeah, he's going to Empress these two. And then I'm, plus, I'm guessing he's just going to go ahead and send this flush. And I just want to see where we're at with him right now with the level three flush with all these face cards. He's got the 1.5x on the old bap cracked. Okay, yeah, he's in a pretty good spot right now. Certainly going to be trying to build toward a certain suit now, having already tried to uh, build toward the flush. Trying to convert all the other suits into the one he's got the most of. Going the high card meta as well, which has been his ammo for quite a while. Ooh, and we've got a legendary down there in the bottom right with Apollo. Very exciting, the Perkeo, which is, uh, it's you know... For Endless, this can get pretty good. It takes a little bit for Perkeo to get going. You need to find a decent consumable and start actually building off of it, but uh, the Fool is certainly going to be uh, a decent way to do that. And keep in mind, Apollo uh, trying as best as he can to just find as many kings as possible. I love this play. Not sure why he's hesitating. Yeah, absolutely. That's worth trading that bonus king into a steel king. That's gonna mean. That's gonna mean. Oh, if I'm if I'm interpreting this correctly, the Steel King will be triggered four times. Twice by. Or sorry, yeah, the 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 card will be triggered twice, but it will be two four 1.5x multipliers. I mean to say, so it's gonna be two triggers of the Baron and two triggers of the Steel uh, as a result of the Mime. Meaning that, yeah, no, that's, wow, that, that is already tremendous. And if he can manage to start cloning that Steel King, oh, oh, baby, Apollo's cooking. Apollo's already cooking in a big way. Apollo and Mouth, who we just uh, labeled early on as uh, favorites to uh, put up some top scores today, going to be looking pretty good here. Not to mention, yeah, that's a great point as well. That Chariot card now is going to start getting uh, duplicated by Perkeo every round. Which, oh, wow. Oh, snap. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good, man. I'm keeping, a, I'm keeping an eye on Apollo's corner of the screen for sure here. This is already looking pretty fantastic. And any further kings that he can add to the build uh, going to be even better. I'd probably, honestly, if I were him, that queen is maybe worth it. But yeah, I was going to say, you probably hesitate to add anything but a king at this point. Despite the fact that that could be uh, strength carded up into a king later. I think, yeah, you just go ahead and focus on what you got. So we got a great foundation going, not even a foundation, honestly, we got a great build going at this point over there for Apollo. Let's uh, let's head back over to Dan here and see how he's doing all the way up to Annie three now. Have only, or have, he's only added the, the three of a kind Joker, but has already made his way up to Annie three here. Just that blueprint polychrome has been enough apparently for him to, uh, for him to be doing pretty well. He is considering the certificate, which is, you know, it's not a bad option here. He might end up just kind of flooding his deck if he uh, decides to blueprint. I'm not even sure blueprint is compatible with certificate. Is it? I think so. I'm pretty, yeah, we'll see, I guess, once he does this. Yeah, it is compatible. Okay. But, uh, yeah, that could, uh, that could be something. A steel joker for Apollo. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy that's exciting man yeah that's uh that's exactly what he needed he is he is cracked right now i'm not gonna lie this is this is looking like an absolutely phenomenal run for apollo he, he, he might be on his way to breaking his own high score here this is what he wanted to see in the finals man that is absolutely ridiculous definitely uh looking to him to uh to set up the uh the or to set the bar rather for us with this with this build. Mouth still doing pretty well. He's gonna go ahead and sell the uh Paradalia there in favor of the holographic burnt joker. So my guess is Mouth is gonna be trying to start discarding some flush hands. And 
getting that hand or getting that uh, upgraded. It might even be pivoting over to high card now. It's looking like he might even already be thinking about dumping the tribe here, which I I wouldn't be too surprised by that. That definitely seems like it's up mouth Sally to uh be a lot more focused on the uh the 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 high card value. Well, hang on to it to, uh, for now it looks like, but I I I'd, I'd keep an eye on that. I I think there's a possibility he's going to be shifting into that meta as you can see you're here yeah he's already discarding for high cards so well i mean i guess that's just going to happen regardless but i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if he be if he began to actually play around that got a lot more action going on now uh for dan all of a sudden looking at a trading card and a campfire which is actually uh, kind of got a little bit of synergy going on there you can get a little bit of value uh well literal value of course out of the trading card for the three dollars you get from discarding cards can also uh, thin the deck a little bit to try to focus more on uh, finding those seal cards. In fact, we might just see a seal deck uh, here from Dan. He's just going to be all about that certificate. It looks like he's been cloning that uh, with the blueprint every round as well. So he's uh, leaning pretty heavily into trying to get some value out of those seal cards, which absolutely, especially if you can start finding um, some Empress Tarot or uh, I forget the name of it, but whatever the tarot card is that adds the bonus chips to the uh to the cards that that could definitely start to uh get into a pretty good position for him higher fan there you go yeah thank you which i am certain i'm not saying correctly either got another steel card up there for ryan he's uh he's looking like he's he's turning this into something decent up there in the top right of your screen still Got that Vagabond for the uh, Polychrome, but it does not look like he's keeping himself in that range anymore unless he just managed to get a, an astronomical amount of money from the previous round, which very well could have been the case. I'm not 100% sure on how that Satellite Joker works, but it looks like he's getting some good uh, economy value out of it. Hanging on to that Death card as well. I'm going to pass on the Talisman this time, not too surprising. And, uh, yeah, it looks like, actually, he's, he's going to be spending all his money again. I think he's keeping himself in that Vagabond territory. Okay. Respect. He's, he's, he's rolling the, the, the power of the Taros here. And so far, so good for him, apparently, as he's made, a, he made his way up to Annie 7. Got two players in Annie 7 at the moment. Mouth slowly uh, churning his way through Annie 5. Dan easily able to clear the uh, big blind here on Annie 3. Going to be going up against a boss in a moment. Has the campfire that I uh, failed to uh, really acknowledge as we were just... Uh, oh my goodness, sorry, hold on. Hard pivoted from that as we see a, another legendary for Apollo. What is going on? He's got himself a negative... Whoa, Jesus, sorry about that. That is a negative, uh, the, uh, the punch card joker, which, if I recall correctly, is a times four molt every six hands. So that... That, that's, that ain't bad either, man. That alone... Pretty terrific. I can't remember what Canio does, though. Apparently not that useful for him. Any legendary, obviously, is exciting. But, man, yeah, that is a, that's a hell of a hell of a run for Apollo here today, man. I'm sure he's thanking his lucky stars for the, for the convenience of this. That's right. That's extra times one multiplier for every destroyed face card. Which, you know, could... Be, it could be pretty good. It's it's uh, possible that he's able to turn that into some extra value. I mean, honestly, it seems yeah. No, he's already popped a hangman here. Like it, it's it's pretty likely. There you go. There's a quick times two. You, you crack that. So yeah. No. Okay. So wow. <laughs> that went from not having a lot of value to being pretty significant pretty quickly. There you go. That's an X three for Canio at the the tail end of all the. Other incredibly good jokers that Apollo's got going on right now. I mean, it's tough to pit the, take my eyes off him at the moment because this build is absolutely cracked. Speaking of cracked, we got Ryan cracking open a buffoon pack up on the top right there. Still trying to get as much value out of that ba uh, Vagabond as possible. I really like what Ryan's got going on here too, actually. It doesn't feel as though it's extremely scalable, but the value is phenomenal. The I think the satellite is working uh, quite a bit uh, in his favor as well. He's got clearly just a mess of 
really high quality cards in his deck right now. You got all those steals. You got a lot of lucky cards in there. A lot of glass cards. A lot of mold cards. Like I was saying, man, this is this is Ryan uh, in in peak Northern Lion form here for Bellatro. Just the just hyper focus on the highest possible value. Apollo with a score of one point five million. We'll go ahead and update the round one scores with that right now. That feels like. That feels like it's worthwhile. Oh, and thank you, mods. I just realized you guys have been updating that for me. Thank you very much. Can I get some uh, pet mods in chat? I think we got that emote enabled. Appreciate it, guys. Staying on top of it. All right. Now then. Man, yeah, that, that is very clearly, very clearly Apollo well in the lead here with this build. Mouth still rocking the, the, the same sort of deal we saw before. That's, that's, this, this from a, uh, Mouth is, is like, this is what he does a lot of the time. He'll take something that I look at it at face value and think to myself, like, yeah, that's fine, but that's, uh, how are you going to turn this into something that's going to turn into like an E score? You know what I'm saying? And then I look back 45 minutes later and he's, he's cracking, uh, E39 off of a single high card like it's the, the man is a is a master of the game he he understands how all these systems work he knows how to get that maximum value so yeah no i i, I trust malfi here to uh to to turn this into something that's gonna be gonna be a high score contender can we get a listen in on apollo yeah absolutely I've been so busy commentating, man. I forgot that was even an option. Let's go ahead and switch over to Apollo and see how he's feeling about this run so far. Uh, we can roll once. Did I get this stupid voucher again? Aura is good. I don't want to copy it, though. Kind of. Aura isn't good because I'm not playing the cards. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. I'm not playing those cards. Next round. Next round, me. All until jo I can sell this Joker. Easy. I can sell my negative. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. He's selling it. Um, we're just going to go ahead and discard. Doesn't really matter what we hanged, man. Look at this, man. Oh, Good. my Do goodness. Like this. Look at this hand. This isn't even as good as it can. It's, it's getting better and better as he goes. This uh, is ridiculous. going to get us there. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so ready to see this. It's gonna get us there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh boy. I'd love to see it. This is. I, I cannot Jumbo stress enough. Me? Yes, please. That this is only getting started here. Th this is gonna be um, absurd. It's all bad again, guys. Yeah, that's that's a whiff. Maybe take it's a chance on the... No, no, this is all a whiff. Enhanced numbered cards. Is, we don't want enhanced face cards, because then we could destroy those. Yeah. Yeah, he's it's looking for red seals for sure. Time looking at it. Single red seal steel king in this deck. Oh, boy, it is it's just over. Uh, blech. Does this copy a specific one? It's one random. We just happen to be copying the same. Yeah, he's got it. I mean, I guess the hangman is good, too. Honestly, either one of these uh, cards is good for him right now. How many more face cards do we have left? We have one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to destroy them like one at a time. Makes sense. I need to make more steel cards, though. That's kind of something I'm fucking up. I can't decide. I feel like... I think he's making the right call, keeping both the Chariot and the Hanged Man, because they're both pretty close in value. For him right now. Don't care, don't care, don't care. You effectively get a times two x Another with the death. maximum gives me a value of the hangman. Money. I'm taking the money. That's true. He is almost I out of face cards. Don't care. Um, roll me. What am I rolling for, though? Hang on. I mean, I guess I uh, I don't want to sell anything right now. I'm rolling for spectral cards more than anything. Yeah, he's really just looking for the red seals now. For. And I'm not hitting it, so I'm going to stop rolling. Some aggressive re-rolls, but yeah, no, I can't really blame him. There's there's not a lot else he needs at this I point. I don't really want to... 
Ugh. That's a rough. That's a rough boss blind too here. Until one Joker sold. Do I? That's unfortunate. I could roll it, but I don't need to because this card isn't doing anything for me. And honestly, I kind of want the money for it. Oh, that's true. It does have the reroll too. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree, but I don't know. I don't. I want to hang on to that negative. I think. Genuinely, yeah, I'd rather I mean, keep my all right. Uh, go ahead and chariot me. It's it's certainly not great, but it's not nothing. Is the thing. What do I feel like my hands? Feel like you could have found a better just, boss plan, but am I insane? He's the one cooking, after all. I, I, I ain't, I ain't cooking like he is. A useless Terra card that doesn't matter. All right, let's go ahead and pivot back over to our full view here. We'll check in on everybody else, see how they're doing. All right, looks like Ryan has not changed up the approach too much. I don't remember. I don't think that... Was that a hollow Steel Joker before, or did he just happen to... It must have been. I don't know if there's actually a way to get a hollow after the fact. But, uh, oh, Malfi. Oh, no. No, the old bat run. Oh, man. I had faith in him. I, was, I, I didn't want to say it. I was kind of getting to saying it, but that uh, that that build wasn't looking like it had enough gas for that particular point in his run, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, does end up having to go the reset route there. So boy, this is uh, what are we at? We're about forty-five minutes in here. I think it is it is gonna be tough to beat Apollo already. This is it's wild that this has happened so early on here in our first round, but th that is, uh, again, I, he is only just getting started with this, and we're going to see some absolutely ridiculous hands coming out of the bottom right of the screen here. Dan does get the DNA, fittingly for him. Got to imagine he's going to be picking this up. Yeah, okay, so that could be, uh, especially with the blueprint here, that that could turn into something. He's He's been rocking the campfire value here as well, and has a pretty good economy. Gonna grab the swashbucklers for a little extra guaranteed molt as well. Okay, okay. This is this is something. It's it's not it's not very high scoring potential at the moment, but this is absolutely something that you can use to create a deck that can go places. I don't know where he's gonna be taking it, but I I, I think his options are open. I think he's got multiple possible routes to go with this. So we'll keep an eye on that. Malfi trying to find himself a new start here. Ryan has managed to make his way to the Amber Acorn, which I, I don't feel like flipping and shuffling his Joker cards is really going to do, do too much for him here. In fact, I'm pretty sure he might just go ahead and clear through this round right away. Yeah, no, no sweat there. It does crack the glass, but I don't think he really cares about that. Off to Endless for Ryan. We'll see what he can turn this into. This is... I suppose this is just the, the build. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's weird, but uh, yeah, I mean, like, I don't think he's pivoting at all from this. He's going to get ectoplasm, the driver's license. Okay. The the hand size might end up being a bit of a problem here, as I believe he, yeah, he's got a hand size of five now, if I'm interpreting that correctly. That is, uh, that's a risk. Oh boy, that is a gamble, but I, I can respect it, man. You got you, you to gotta risk it to, to get the biscuits, so. We'll see how that goes for him. Oh, did we we missed a five hundred thousand from Ryan earlier. Apparently, if we could maybe get that in on the uh, round one scores, please. Thank you, appreciate it, Mots. All right, good stuff, man. This is this is very exciting here from Apollo to begin with. I'm curious to see how Dan's feeling though. Let me go ahead and get in on a listen in with our boy Dan Giesling. He's looking like he's pretty focused. I want to hear what his. Uh, what his thought process is right now. That's tough. Tough with two Fs. He's optimistic. He's putting on airs. He's in oh, focus mode, sending. man. All right, here we go. I love that I'm getting the, the Twitch glitched Bellatro music as well. It's extremely cursed. 
Okay. Dan has DNA, NL has egg, and Mouth had Olbap earlier. That is pretty funny. Yeah, Spectrum I like that a lot. Doo -doo. Everybody's playing to their strengths. Random copy. That's uh, that ain't gonna work here. Yeah, it's a whiff on the spectral pack. Certainly not gonna give up seventy-five bucks for a random rare. That's too big of a risk. Uh. Yeah, not at all worth. Grab himself a hangman. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, I didn't realize that guy can thank you. Yeah. Stonks. Stonks. Can we listen into people on the forecast? Yeah, I this think so. This could be the end here. Let me try that real quick. This could be the end, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, Dan's feeling a little concerned about this one. I can't blame him. All right, let's go ahead and uh, switch back to our four, four view here, and we'll listen in on Dan in the meantime. Yeah, I got to make sure we don't miss our high scores here, huh? That's a good point. Uh, question is, do we play these or yeet them? Yeet them. I wouldn't Six be too worried if I was Dan here. Destroyed. He sounded pretty concerned about clearing this round, but he's he's only I don't really any know five. What we're doing. I wish I wish I had an idea of what we're doing, but I don't. Yeah, I'm kind of with him. <laughs> this is well, it's like I was describing before. Like this is the kind of Joker setup that does not itself like ever create very high scoring opportunities, but this is space. the kind of thing that you can absolutely build a deck out of. Like the blueprint DNA alone is insanely strong potential for deck construction but okay, I, I, as far I as actually scoring idea. yeah this is uh this is rough this probably want to move that swashbuckler over that's not a big deal though no could blueprint the campfire as well too yeah someone in his chat just mentioned that man that five card hand from ryan is something else i want to listen in on ryan for a we bit actually i want to see what he's this. thinking it's not pretty I think Dan's gonna be okay. I think he's I think he's overstating the difficulty of this situation for himself. Let's let's hear On how Ryan's feeling. Hand. <laughs> okay, didn't hit, but that's okay. I'm willing to. I'm absolutely willing to. And then send it down Main Street just so in lucky, case. Man. Just in case. God, imagine a imagine a lucky cat in this deck, huh? Look at this. Okay. He's it's scoring. Good. This is I can't believe this is working so well. It's weird to me, man. Why can't he play flushes? Well, it's more like I've only got um, five cards in my hand, so it becomes very tough to guarantee that we get it. But honestly, the fact that he's still going flush here is crazy. It's okay. Yeah, lucky cat so would be crazy. Sober, the so what oops, all six nothing. is absolutely the extra chance. We got enough lucky cards. If anything, hanged man will go crazy. Absolutely. Two molt if you got a pair. I mean, it's, brother, it's two molt. Yeah. Nah, not worth. Our flat molt is not impressive. What's impressive is our multi. Yeah, no, just more steals. More steals. Ooh, we a foil no. stuntman for Dan. Yeah. Okay, that's something. Now we'll get Race the scoring going. Play. Well, I'd say you're half right. Got a negative faceless for mouth up there too. That's Sell uh, me. This is so doable. It's nice for the economy at least. Sell me. Buy and use me. You can kind of build around that actually. Buy me. Next round. At least for Please a Please don't few draw rounds. all diamonds. I appreciate that. You become a heart. Then you get discarded. This is just I'm 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 a big fan of what Ryan's done here. The just the, the sheer fact glass. of going for flushes with a five card hand. What's Faceless do? So Play Faceless it. Joker, you discard three face cards and it gives you $5, I believe. So extremely Can't good to have it. as a negative. Usually it, don't want to hang onto it for too long beyond that. If you just have it in, you know, your... Get ready, okay? Basic set of Jokers. You, a lot of people don't understand the kind of... The, the kind of cookery I'm getting up to here. I really don't, but I'm loving it. What tarot cards are you looking for? 571 I you to understand for Apollo. That wow. I don't have an answer for that. Wow. It's illegal for you to ask me that. 
All right, so Ryan's got something going here, man. I'm pretty into this. This this is a very exciting first half of uh, round one here so far. I do think that as as concerned as Dan seemed to be, I think he's feeling a little bit better now that he's got that foil uh, stunt man. I certainly would too. He obviously still has tremendous potential from the DNA. Look at this now. Dan cloning a holographic bonus gold sealed 10. Twice. That, okay. This is what I'm talking about, man. It's, it's so fast. All of a sudden, he's going to be cooking big time with this. And just I think at this point, you just absolutely start building toward like a flush five kind of situation. Because you can, you can get into some crazy scores with that that is a foil yeah my bad that's a foil foil 10 not a hollow 1.1 billion for apollo sheesh yeah and again we're we're gonna be seeing much bigger numbers down there dude this is this is crazy a clearance sale for a or sorry for uh for ryan up there in the top right pretty damn nice considering he's still going for this vagabond value i cannot believe this polychrome vagabond has lasted till anti 10 like i i i gotta give him so many props for just the 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 unorthodox nature alone of of this run and i i'm i'm not even sure i i think he can still keep going for a little while here he's got a plus 85 or something like that from his tarot joker which obviously is a phenomenal synergy with the uh, vagabond He's keeping a showman as well. We got to keep that in mind. He's had a showman this entire time, presumably trying to find a uh, maybe like a second steel card or a second driver's license or something. Or hell, even a second vagabond, I guess, could be uh, something pretty decent here. But uh, yeah, the, I mean, he's got that obviously to try to find the other ones. But then that also represents a uh, a an open slot theoretically in the future for something that can make this go off even harder so there's still potential up there man it's i am i am very impressed a casual little 1.5 mil off one play man yeah he actually might put up a respectable score here he's got the jupiter for the observatory right yeah he did manage to pick up the observatory voucher as well so he's getting the plus or uh, the times 1.5 x for each jupiter that he has in his consumable slots so That'll be really nice for him as well. He's going to go ahead and death card that queen to get himself another lucky. It's looking good, man. It's looking good. Feels like we haven't checked in on Malf in a little while. Let's listen in on Malfi and see how he's feeling. Okay. One, two, three, four. Her blue joker a bunch but yeah i think we'll jump in their voice yeah. channels as uh That's as the that. hour elapses and we'll although i guess raised fist was probably chat with me see how they're doing um casual three billion for apollo easy money yeah okay. he just keeps on keeps on Why trucking is the music dude. all funky uh are you crazy you might need to refresh. I don't know. Sounds normal to me. Even having focused, sorry, I'm back over to Ryan for a second here, but even having focused his steals, he's only at 3.75x still. Yeah, that's, that's kind of why I feel like steel is just, it's difficult to get going. Apparently not difficult to get him going though. Oh, the deja vu for Apollo as well. Oh my God. Oh my god, this this is just not even fair at this point. Oh my god. <laughs> the red seal steel kings. This run right now. Brother, that is just nonsense. This is a, it is a little funky in nature. This yeah. is gonna be difficult to beat at this point. I don't even know if it's gonna be Audio possible. Audio compressor, refresh. Ah, oh, there you go. Sheesh. Yeah. These again, I cannot. Um, can I emphasize enough? This is just, this is light work for him right now, dude. This is just a throwaway 5 billion. Unbelievable. I want to check in on him again, man. I want to see how Apollo's feeling about this. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Don't wanna... mm. 
keeping a tight lid on it, though. Oh, no. I was hoping to draw the red seal. We don't need those anymore. We have red seals. Yeah, he's got that covered. We're looking for uh, fucking blueprint, man. Hangman is good. Yep, that still helps. Still I'm, got a I'm few still face about cards. To lose soon. <laughs> I'm still about to lose soon, I think. I don't oh, know, I, man. I messed up. I could have not copied Deja. Vu. Oh, that's true. All yeah, that was, a, that was a gamble. Down. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I don't really know. Well, I mean, it's inconvenient, but not a big deal. I still have one more Jack, right? I, oh, it's gonna, I'm going to draw it face down. I can't. <laughs> Oh man. Uh doesn't matter where we throw this. I mean we need to we want to hit a steel card, but we don't know if we're gonna hit it or not. It's just It's so exciting to see these kind of builds come together, man. We have so many plays, so I'm gonna play and test and see make sure this is a king. Even if I have to experience it vicariously. I I do like watching number go up. It's not! That was a jack! Sneaky bastard! Oh, oh no! <laughs> that was the one jack, man! <laughs> Oh, you're oh, back! That's a shame. Go away! Nobody wants you! <laughs> I don't have any vouchers! I don't have any vouchers, man! Oh, away sheesh. with you. You're done in this town. You're done in this town. You're done in this town. <laughs> you're done in this town. Dude, that is a 12x cannio. Oh Holy <laughs> shit. Wait, wait. I have so few. I have 13 antis and I have fucking two, four, six vouchers. Yeah. I've missed seven vouchers, dude. <laughs> Onk, All right, matter. so he's he's clearly feeling Ooh. pretty good though. You know, he's 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 giving uh, he's giving the game some grief, but I'm sure he he recognizes the uh, the position he's in here. Just trying to give myself a quick uh, recap for when I jump in the uh, calls with these guys at the one hour mark. Looks like Malf has yet to really get too much cooking. If we even just take a look, uh, look at the uh, exclamation point R one scores there as well, you can see what their best has been so far up to this point. Malf yet to really get anything of note. It, I think that old bap hand that he had uh, going was uh, was about as good as he's gotten up to this point. He's still trying to trying to cook with some gas at some point here. Dan had a pretty nice build going a little earlier that did unfortunately fall short to round score, and I think Annie four or five, but now is absolutely on his way with something here. It's still lacking some focus. A little bit. It's still it's still just unfortunately a, a little bit uh, scatterbrained, which is not any fault of Dan. It's more the fault of the jokers that he's been presented with up to this point. Obviously, a walkie-talkie isn't going to be fantastic, but he has been building around it well enough to be able to at least get some score out of it, and that is going to be a new high score for Dan there as well, just north of uh, of a million. So that'll at least count for something here. Apollo's run might be ending. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it, but. Okay. Damn, this hey, could be actually it. actually don't need to use other deja vu either. We'll see. Oh, hold on. No, no, it's never mind. Far from it. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that'll clear. We're in a very scary spot where it's going to come down to luck. Okay, want to see a fool card now? My goodness, dude. No. We could chariot that last king, but I think the money's worth way more. Man, I think I think he's gonna be able to clear this next round, but it's of course gonna be yeah, any fourteen oh things card. just get absolutely ridiculous. Thank you. And as he's figuring that out, let's go ahead and uh, listen in on Ryan real quick as well. As so that's our last remaining recap player here. I'm never gonna play this. But it's just oh, you might as well dump it. No, no, no. You might as well. well you're gonna have to play the ace then. You got two discards. You should use one. We already got a flush in hand. Keep, uh, you're using it on two cards, huh? Well, I'm grateful. Did Ryan? I don't care if it, it it's not going to ruin Vagabond because we're going to get set to zero dollars anyway. Did he skip a blind for a plus three hand size? Is that what happened here? Or did he, is that okay, one of those we, jokers that I forgot laugh. actually adds hand size We as actually well. win these. We just need a diamond, which is like impossible not to draw. Oh, is that that last? 
A 6 9 Oh, yeah, Malf does win. Yeah, I didn't realize Malf scored million. a 6 9 6 okay. 9 Yeah, that's a, that's a secret win condition. Oh, we need... A, okay, that's an insane joker, bro. That's That that could keep us in the game and get us a new high score. Now, it's all about, like, Is preservation it? at this point. Is we it? We probably won't live through the next... Uh, even the small blind. But... I don't remember ever getting that excited for a round. We can get right. over 25 million in a round. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I, still, I just love what he's doing here. It's just... I think there is going to be a, a pretty hard cap on it soon enough. It must be done. Tomo. Okay, we get over 25 million. That's what we do. And if, oh, I was going to say, like, what we should do is, like, skip so that we can get better and then aim for, Yo, like, one Dan. super high score on the boss after the Mega Arcanas, but I can't deal with negative one hand size. Okay. Damn with the Our big score, 6.3. is to get over 25 million points. There you go. The campfire paying off. That's it. Over 25 million points. Ryan likely to clear that know. mark here, though. Jupiter. Oh, I, I got rid of Spectral. <laughs> hey, Domo! Domo. I mean, one of you's got to get dumped. It's, it's a simple fact, bro. It's a simple fact of life. I'll be honest with you. At some point, we got to play some cards. I moved the wrong card to the end. Devastating. Yeah, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Okay, 25 million. Keep it keep it straight in your head. 25 million points. Hi, buddy. I'm dumping the steals. I don't even care. We got card sharp. That's what it's there for. Oh, I forgot to notify the Discord. <laughs> I'm not dumping a polychrome for, for no reason. <laughs> Whoops. If there's a good reason, we send it. Thanks for the reminder. I completely 25 forgot. 25 million points. I'll post it now. It's the perfect timing. 23 million. We just need one more flush. So we play, we play dog shit. Link in all caps. And then caps. we get a flush. The way they know I'm excited about it. Sorry, oh, it doesn't work when it's in all caps. There we go. E! I missed an E! Ah, E11! Jesus! Okay, next run. Don't even sweat it. Next oh, run. Oh, right. I don't out. even. We're Ryan's unlocking out. stuff. It's crazy. All right, all right, all right. That. Yeah. 32. I mean, I. I just. I didn't know, man. I, I. I felt like eventually that one had to. Had to run out of gas, and sure enough, there's the moment. All right. So apparently we have an E score, down there in the bottom right for Dumb Dog. I. I don't know, man. I feel like he's probably gonna beat it. I think he's going to get even higher than that. Like, uh, we had a little scare there, but uh, the, since then, I, I, I think we've, uh, I think we've uh, righted the, the ship, and he is just on his way to the moon right now. That's going to be an E11 there for Dumb Dog as the new mark to beat. My goodness. All right. We're about two minutes away from our, uh, our, our check-in with the competitors here. Everybody... Besides Malf, has has managed to put up at least a, a a score that I think they can feel pretty comfortable with. Uh, Apollo certainly, but uh, Ryan, I imagine, is is feeling okay about a twenty five million. I know he's going to want to play a little better than that, but I think he's feeling all right about a twenty five mil. Dan is still it's 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 still about as good as I felt about this deck before, I and mean, not much has changed. So I suppose that makes sense. But still rocking that blueprint to great effect, and obviously that combined with the campfire. Not to mention an economy that is apparently going pretty strong. Uh, working out for the best for him. Does anyone know, does Dan have the clearance sale voucher? Did he manage to? It looked like, I think those cards are discounted. I didn't see if he actually picked that up at some point, though. Maybe he'll pull up his vouchers for us eventually. Mouth is struggling today man it's certainly unexpected but through the course of the first hour here he has not managed to get too much going he's got himself a constellation now which is okay not the not the easiest uh as far as the uh the the ones that add cumulative additional multipliers it's not the easiest one to build up but uh it's something at least he's got that uh that rare pair joker as well 
can give him a quick little 2x. So this is this is at least something that's going to be able to score high enough to get into the latest antis, but he's already on anti six. So yeah, it's going to be uh it's going to be rough sledding. 1.3 E11. Sheesh. Welcome back. I believe that's very very close to the score he'd already put up before. Maybe slightly higher, but uh yeah, clearly the the man to beat here. As we have now reached the halfway point here of round one, we're going to go ahead and jump into a uh, quick Discord chat with all four competitors, and we'll uh, we'll see how they're feeling about their progress so far. We'll start off with Mr. Michael A.L. Fox. Malfi. Hi. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? How's, how's, how's the first hour been treating you so far? It looks like you've been uh, not not finding a lot of the jokers you need up to this point. No, the first run, we kind of had an okay thing, and then I made a boo-boo. Um, and then this run, I was about to hold R, and we said, oh, let's look in one more shop, and it's, you know, I probably should kill it, but I don't know, you, I'm still surviving. I'm just going to play it out. We'll see, because sometimes that's how run goes. That That's old bat run, run was looking promising, man. That was unfortunate that that uh, ran out of gas when it did. But I, I, if, I, if I've got confidence in anyone to put something together in the last hour here, it's certainly you. I don't know about that, but I appreciate <laughs> the confidence. Um, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I think this run is if big changes don't happen soon, um, it's, you know, over. But yeah. uh, that's okay. Then enough time to get another run going and hopefully snowball. Yeah. All right. Well, best of luck, man. Thank you, thank you. Love you. Love you. And so much. I'm, Listen, I'm, I'm fucking live. Hello? 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 I, I want to try my best not to terrify you as I entered the Discord room. I appreciate it. It was, it was very coquettish. So I'm not going to lie. That Vagabond run that you just managed to clear 25 mil on, I was shocked that that went as far as it did, especially when you went down to that five hand size. That was, uh, that was wild. People were complaining the whole time. <laughs> Every great. decision ever being made yeah. was just being poo-pooed nonstop. Yep. But uh, that that is good enough for uh, second place currently with your okay. 33 what's, million. What's first right now? You're feeling pretty good. Uh, first place at the moment is Dumb Dog with a score of all of the points. So it's in the E's. It's in the E's. Yeah, we are, we've already got an E contender here. He's, he's cooking, man. I, I, I don't know if you want a sneak peek, but we've got uh, some Red Seal Kings with the Baron going on. It's uh, it, okay, it's, it's some madness. Well, first, I copied his deck. Now I'm going to copy his run. Yeah. No, go for it. All right. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Dan Giesling. Yo. How you feeling so far, man? An hour in, we're uh, we've got some scores that have been uh, pretty impressive. You're you're in third place at the moment with your high of uh, six point three mil. How confident are we feeling right now? Good, good. We're we're just you know we're just it's like you got your favorite dirt bike. It's it's in the garage. You, you took the toothbrush. You just cleaned the spokes off a little bit. We loosen up the brakes, and you know then we go to Grandpa's cough medicine. We take the scissors. We cut the brakes. And we're about to cook. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the top score how many e's are we talking uh we're only into e11 so you know sorry e12 just a quick correction there currently at e12 he's he's got a clear e13 here but i think it looks it looks like he's going to be able to do so pretty pretty easily apollo is cooking right now i'm not gonna lie to you I was say Mel, so Mel's getting cooked at his own so it's it's apollo it's he's apollo whooping. man he's he's got a couple of legendaries up there in the jokers he's got that baron popping off he's got a mime along with it the red seal it's all coming together man it's pretty wild did he hold our key for a while to get there, or was it just luck No, luck? I think this was, like, his third run. Like, it's, it's just kind of cracked. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm trying to build a little glass red. I don't know if I'm going to get to the E's, but you know what? An E, to me, is a win. I like what you got going on here. I think this blueprint DNA is, is it's on its way. So, yeah, just keep it. Oh, this is Andy 9, so it's a little late to build, but just keep it cracking. All right, Bear. See you, buddy. Luck, man. Yep. Dumb dog. Hello. Jumping in in the perfect time here is just an over just over an hour has elapsed in the first round and holy cow. Yeah, we got some. We got some, that was a fun one. I've never had that legendary before. The uh, Perkeo. Yeah, that's yeah. the first. It's unlocking right on my screen. Right so, now. so that one I I often find is uh, very difficult to make work unless you're in the exact situation you were just in, where you know cloning those consumables just went off and man, that is a that's a high bar, dude. 
Yeah, I, uh, I, and, and my my caster brain thinks it should be enough. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, imagine. I mean, we're, I'll, I'll give you a quick breakdown here. So we've got you're currently in the lead, as you might imagine, with your uh, with your E12. Uh-huh. Uh, I believe Ryan has a top score at the moment of 33 million. Uh, nice. Dan at 6.3 mil and Malf at 86k. He's not really been able to get uh, anything cooking up to this point. So you've got a very comfortable lead at the moment. Cool. Cool. I'm still going to try to beat it with an hour left, but those runs, the, the, the fun thing about those runs is that they t- it takes so long. You're sitting there like, right. You're like an hour in and you're like, okay, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do that. There's just, so much you got to consider. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I'm happy. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm confident about it, which is rare. I'm usually never confident about anything. Yeah. Well, I, I'd, I'd certainly be feeling confident too. All right. Well, best of luck in the final hour, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Unsurprisingly, got a pretty confident Apollo coming off of an E12 run here. Uh, man, this is uh, it, it's it's tough to imagine anybody beating that man. That is that is an extremely high bar. I'd be surprised if Apollo can even come close to that in the final hour here with his next couple of attempts. He's got he's got that eclipse energy, man. Yeah, I was gonna say we didn't really mention it at the very beginning all that much, but he's got that mental fortitude buff having experienced a once in a lifetime celestial event yesterday. So yeah, he's feeling pretty good. Clearly Uh, just by way of recap again here, we're looking at uh, Ryan as our second place finisher at the moment with a 33 million score. Dan third place at 6.3 and Malf still just looking to find something here. He's he's, it's unfortunate. Not only has mouth not been able to get a a high scoring run going, he he hasn't been able to get anything going period. Like it's just, it's just been rough sledding for him so far today. Taking a look at what he's got going on now, uh, now though, he's still, he's still rocking that constellation build. He's got himself a, uh, that I, I, I always forget the name of that last one that mouth's got as well. I think Ryan had that in his last build. Two. That's the one. I think that's the one that adds hand size. Is that right, or am I confusing that with another one? Card sharp, right? Yeah, that's that's the one. That's the one. So, we'll see what. Uh... Oh no, 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 that's right. That's three X for the ones that you you have already played before, right? On repeat hands, right? Yeah, thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you for the clarification. So that's something. You know, I mean, we got a little bit of scoring going on up there, but it's uh, yeah, difficult to. Really scale all that well with that one as well. Hopefully with the constellation though, we can start to build up a little more. But he's already on Annie Eight, man. It's just oh, it's it, it's tough when you're not able to get all the ingredients prior to these higher antes. Just the the score required to clear absolutely becomes uh, something you got to consider. And it's uh yeah, you have to be determined whether or not Mouse gonna be able to get much further on this one. Dan is getting something going here, isn't he? Absolutely. I I love that he's leaned into the walkie-talkie. That is that is absolutely not a route that I would typically go, but it is clearly paid off for him pretty well. He's getting big triggers out of this, big time scores from the 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 Red Seal 4s. Clears a mill on that one. He's he's got the potential still here, man. I do think he found the voucher at some point, too. But maybe I'm just misremembering the cost of certain cards. But uh, he's clearly very invested in the campfire here, making that work. Walkie talkie's great with hack. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I, I, I do fail to uh, I fail to appreciate hack as well. To be honest, that's another one that I don't use as often as maybe I should. No, we haven't really felt the need to ban much else uh, besides the Plasma deck. We've only done, uh, well, we really only did the TCL one-shot, I suppose, but uh, we didn't really run into any issues there. And I feel like just based on the fact that all four players are playing with the Ghost deck, it doesn't really feel like we need to do too much as far as uh, balancing there. That's another part of this game that I I think is just fantastic for for the Spectator event is... Um, it's, it's, it's fair. You know, I, I think it's, it's fair in the, in the pure randomness of it. Like the odds of Apollo crafting that particular run are just so insanely low. It's just like, it's just exciting. The fact that it was, um, able to even happen. Uh, but what's even more exciting is the fact that in the, in the final 50 minutes here, 
it could absolutely happen for another competitor. And clearly they'll have to play a little quicker in order to actually reach the score threshold that Apollo set. But yeah, it's just just a lot more fun for the uh, for the added potential of things that can happen. Uh, not to mention the fact that uh, that I had a second point and then it just left my brain right when I was going to say it. Yeah, right there. There's 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 a big old brain fart. There it goes. Okay. Anyway, just pretend I made a really salient second point and go. Mm, ah, yes, Barry. Very interesting. Well, well, well stated. Mal can still catch up. Oh yeah, no doubt. No, I th- it is far from over for Malfi. It's again, as I as I as I said straight to his digital face. If if I've got confidence in any uh, player in the tournament today to uh, make something out of the final 45 minutes here. I, I, I think it's got to be Malfi for sure. A renewal. The Welcome hollow bag. Back. No, it's the poly vagabond, dude. Not again. <laughs> he never doesn't poly vagabond this, man. All right. I mean, like, it worked pretty well for him last time. We'll see how, how it goes today. Or uh, this, this time around, rather. Got himself the baseball card as well here. That's going to get a couple of 1.5x molts off of the uh, off of the club joker there in the front. He's got himself the vagabond, of course, which I believe is uncommon. I think that's being upgraded to rare in the patch, which is interesting. Apparently, based on the way that Ryan uses it, it's a it's a uh, it's an accurate label. So yeah, he's he's going to be cooking with that again, I guess. Dan, meanwhile, still rocking the uh, the the walkie-talkie build here, I suppose, is what we'll call it. Guessing we're going to be seeing a clone on that glass red seal 10. Makes perfect sense to me. I suppose he's really just kind of crossing his fingers here not to shatter any of those either. You want to keep as many as you can, as po- or as many as you possibly can. We've got a possible blank voucher here for Dumb Dog. I don't think he's going to be prioritizing that all that much. Especially with the uh, general lack of economy going on for him here. He's going to go ahead and clear this big blind pretty easily. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious to see if, if he's going to consider maybe even selling that other joker for the blank voucher here. It doesn't look like he's really even giving it much thought. Yeah, that's, that's not too surprising. So bl- blank voucher by itself does nothing, but uh, purchasing the blank voucher uh, opens up the possibility of seeing the negative voucher in the shop, which uh, is 10 bucks for an additional Joker slot, which is incredibly valuable. Dan with a big score. Did not notice that, but that's fantastic. 655 million for Dan. This this has potential. This, I, this is, we were talking before about the fact that this deck was uh, in its current state, only something that could build into a better thing. This is becoming that better thing very quickly. He has gotten to the point where I believe the majority of his cards are glass tens and glass fours. He's got Eris to level up here as well for a flush five. That's certainly helpful. Dan is cooking. Okay. Let's listen in on Dan and see how he's feeling here. Bonnie's. Doop doop. Doopity doop doop. Doopity doop doop. Hot mic. Okay. So here's what we're doing. We're, we're duping the red glass tens. Like when you and your mom went to get that fresh, fresh ice cream at the local haberdashery. But today we're doing what? something a little bit different. <laughs> we're going for big pog energy. Welcome, brand new subscriber. Oliverian Pope, thank you for the four months of Prime, you absolute peace. <laughs> so you say, well, why, are you throwing, why are you throwing this away? Why are you throwing that away? Because we can. Amen, brother. If it gives us a card, we want to keep it. Ooh, okay. Hold on. Hold on there, Timmy. I'm holding. This could... Timmy's holding. This one and the next one is going to be our home run ball because we've, we've taken campfire to the moon. It's true. It's true. The question is, do we go for it now? What's the boss? Ooh, that's kind of rough. I think we go for it now. That's kind of rough. I didn't realize that was his boss blind. Yeah, it might be time. Come on, give us, give us glass 10. Glass 10. I think he, he's looking at a possible high score send right glass here. 10. Don't win. Don't win. Glass 10. You piece. Ooh, bummer. Okay. 
Still pretty solid, though. It's not a flush five, unfortunately, but it says it's no going to be pretty nice no score. Breakers, no 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 breakers. Don't you even think about breaking. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, that's one, one shatter, but that's a good broke? score. That's a good score. How many break? How many Dan's broke? cooking, man. One. Mega Spectral Doo Doo time. Let's Legendary go. Legendary Joker. Purple seal me. Red seal me. Copy me. I don't know if you can get uh, oh, legendaries out of the spectral skin. I thought that was only in the tarot packs. More copyicity. Oh, you can? Wow, that's crazy. We got more tens. What more can you ask for? Save. We're going to save that for the next blind. All right, here we go, man. You really, you really want to do that to us? You really, I feel you like... really, really want to give us more red tens. That's what, that's what your life's about it right now. It certainly looks like that. I feel like Dan wants to play a five of a kind here more than he wants to play so a right flush now, five. He doesn't want to play lose five of a flush of a kind of a flush of a kind. We'll play three of a kind. Yeah, you can do that we'll too. We'll play three of a kind of a flush of a kind. Uh huh. But we don't want our flush five. Oh, we didn't move it. We should have moved it. I cleared it, though. It. Easy. All right. Dude, Dan is on a run. Oh, that is that is exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing where that can get. Mouth, meanwhile. Okay. Up to uh, a couple hundred thousand. That's, uh, that's certainly not where Mouth wants to be. I know that for sure. But uh, but at least he's got something going here. Let's check in on Mouth as well and see where his uh, mental's at. Single round score. Um, we have like 45 minutes left. Alfie, don't need any luck since you already won. Aw. You're too kind. Thank you, Kark, for the raid. Now the thing is, this plus slow and steady. is like, it's helpful-ish now. A little. But long term, no. Ooh, there is an old bap on offer for Dan I as can't well. Really Interesting. The duo. 1.3 Billy is the current score to. Be oh, that's like second place. Oh, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that, well, that Apollo score four. is off too. I okay, know. I got I to gotta turn off the Joe Biden text to speech that's going to flood my brain. Uh, thank you, Wither. Yeah, there we go. We got that fixed score for Apollo now on the, on the leaderboard there. Apollo, meanwhile, is uh, getting something pretty decent going on here. At least he's got the uh, the face card play going on again. Got himself a, uh, well, honestly, yeah, kind of mid jokers overall, but at least something that's going to be able to take him into the later rounds. Ryan, still rocking the baseball card, still getting a ton of value out of the tarot packs. This is kind of just looking like an upgraded version of Ryan's previous run. Where he's obviously he's got that polychrome vagabond again, but now he's got the negative. Uh, I forget what that one's called, but the far left negative for Ryan that gives you a one in two chance of a tarot card for each booster pack that you open up, which obviously in his case is going to be pretty terrific. Hallucination, yeah, thank you. That's the one. That uh, I mean, it's just yeah, like I said, it's just just a better version of what he had going on previously. So. Looking like he could maybe get something uh, decent going. It's just the bar has now been set. We now realize what it's going to take to move on into the finals. I don't think anybody's really going to be sniffing at Apollo's score. I think it's pretty, it's pretty safe to bet that we're going to be sending him into the final on Thursday. But now it's a matter of whether or not anybody's going to beat Dan. And Dan has now gotten rid of DNA in favor of Olbap. And I like that play a lot. That's absolutely the play I would make here. He's got himself, I think, a pretty heavy concentration of two suits I'd, I'd be very curious to see what his deck looks right like right now but i i seem to remember quite a few clubs uh in the mix for him so if he if he gets a lucky draw there i think he might even just be kind of banking on a single round of ancient joker cracks or ancient joker uh landing on the right suit and just full sending a big play that way and i i, I don't really blame him i feel like that might be a a decent way to do things here. Ryan, yeah, that's uh, both Ryan and Malf. We're keeping eyes on them. Malf did opt for that erosion. 
So he's going to be getting a nice plus 90 molts or something like that. Ooh. And he's got himself... Okay, so he could cryptid this queen. Red seal, steel, uh, hollow queen. Or kings, even better. Yeah, absolutely. And then two copies of a red seal, steel king. Okay. It's it's a bit redundant at this point, but uh, Malf would absolutely love to see a Baron right now. Not the highest likelihood, but there's no damn well he'd be pivoting to that immediately. With a 30-card deck as well. Actually, Malf... Oh, keep your eyes on Malf here, folks. Malf is one or two good jokers away all of a sudden from turning this into something fantastic. Oh, boy. Yeah, no, this is uh, one, I mean, barren, obviously, but there's a couple other things he could, he could do with this, too. And, I mean, just look at the look at the hand here. No matter what you play, you're, you're feeling pretty good. And yet again, he absolutely seems to be going high card meta. Pair this time, actually. No, okay, yeah, that's that works, too. Oh, Steel Joker could absolutely work out. All right, an easy million cleared for Malfi. He's on his way. This is exactly what I was talking about, man. If you got confidence in anybody to bring it back, it's absolutely mouth. But does he have the time he needs? I do feel like he's going to have to play with a little bit more urgency. He's already on anti-10 as well. That's pretty concerning. But, again, one, one good joker could crack this wide open for Malfi. Apollo is, he's got something going here. It's yet again another one of those builds that just feels like it's good enough to win, but not good enough to scale into the late endless game. I'm not really sure where you take this kind of thing either when you've, when you, when your, when your focus is, is so broad or like when, when your capability of scoring well is, is so open-ended, it, uh, it creates these situations where, you know, like he's going to score a few mil or something usually every time, but it's it's just difficult to really get going. Okay, so yeah, we got the big play here for Dan, it looks like. Let's tune in on him. Do we want to do it like this? Do it like that? This is it. This is, this is how you go to the moon in life. All right, we, here's what we got. We got a 9x... And we got a blueprint of an old bap with the clubus. That's pretty Why good, man. Us? We're gonna take the one, three, the five hole with a little bit of seven and a little bit of two. Let's see. What, can we all we're old for? Can we get some ease in chat? Lowercase ease in chat. <laughs> Lowercase ease. Give him some. Give him some ease here. Why not? The oldby. Here we go. What do you say, kid? Lowercase ease. Here we go. Couple more chippers. 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 Couple, couple, couple. Couple more. Couple more. Couple more. Couple, 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 is that, that might be a personal PB Ladies too, and Chad. gentlemen, we have a PB? new first place contender. E16, holy, we'll take it, man. Unbelievable. Zero breakers. That is, that is outstanding, dude. We need Old Bap to stay. That's the difference maker. Oh, Mega I am super dude. pumped for Dan. Oh, he's just shy. Ouija, I thought Joker, it was the Red lead. Seal, no, Red he's, Seal, oh, man. he's just short. Wow, I thought, it, I thought he cleared it. So that's Dumb Dog with a 6.128 E12 versus Dan's 4.183 E12. Holy cow. Blueprint on what fire. a competition here in round one. Slash one guy. Stells. Thank you. Can we please get some dang pack spam in the chat? Holy Can we get some Sell <laughs> Stuntman and copy Joker. Okay. I like okay. that idea. That is, uh, wow. That's remarkable, man. I'm, I'm pumped for Dan. With 35 minutes left, he ain't even done yet, man. He could, he could potentially even outdo himself. Meanwhile, taking a look over at Ryan here, who's cooking something up again. Keep the glass. Keep, keep the glass, because you don't need to play it. Keep the glass. We'll use that later. 
This is a lucky boy over here. I mean, he likes those magicians. Up to Annie 6, still rocking essentially the same foundation as before. Very curious what that uh, constellation's go. up to. And I'd like now. to use you, but there's just no convenient way to use it. But you can fucking stay. <laughs> Glass could be important for us in the future. But we do want to get more tarot cards. I was just going to say a tarot card that gives us something. He's sure. gaming, dude. How about a planet? That's going to be a... Ooh, that... Yes. Yeah, 1.3x on the constellation. Not great. It's not not good to have. We got to spend some money. Magician... On a re-trigger, I like it. Does Sock and Buskin doesn't re-trigger his steel face cards that aren't played, unfortunately, but... Oh, wow. I still wow. think Justice is better. Invisible we'll Joker for Dan. That's, um... Hmm. I don't know. That, that, that's a gamble. It's, it's too late, I think, for an Invisible Joker, right? That's... After three rounds, uh, yeah, that'd be... I mean, it is better than Stuntman, I think. I think you're right. It's just, it's a gamble. But I get, this is the time to gamble, right? If you're ever going to do it. I don't really, I don't really blame him for considering it. Oh, you copy Stuntman, right? Yeah, okay. That's the play. Malfi with the 12.8 mil. Hey, there we go. I was going to say, man, I, I, I think Malf, at the very least, could be competing for third here, but... Uh, Already on anti-11, so unfortunately, unless, again, that, that Baron, if that just happens to show up for him in, in the course of the, ne the next few shops here, that could certainly change things, but he's got, he's got at least a little bit of a glimmer of hope here. Let's check in on him and see how he's feeling. Like I can, I can death these guys till the cow comes home. The cow has come home, but no, just the one cow. Damn, with the easy clear. Sleeping on Cla Chaos the Clown. Actually, yeah, no, I that I would have actually swapped for a trading card at this point because it's we're pretty much there's one nine two jacks. Wait. Yeah, a nine, two jacks, a queen. So we could definitely get rid of training card, but I just, I'm a little frustrated. I skipped right past him. Um, yeah, it's a tough situation for Malfi here. I just, I don't know, man. I feel like there's only one out at this point, and it's the Baron. Apparently, he skipped one earlier. Right yeah, now. which is really rough. Does it make more sense to stop playing pair? We have leveled it up a lot, but I don't know if that ah, that sixteen is. Pretty yeah, good. that's yeah, it's a pretty sunk cost at this point. I mean, point. we don't, we just as long as we don't play the steel, it doesn't really matter because we don't have Baron. Good night, Ari. Have a good one. I'm mic'd up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for um, letting me know. That makes me very happy that that's his instinct, dude. That's... Oh, man. I love Melf. All right. Fantastic uh, performance so far from everybody, but unfortunately, the bar is just too damn high, man. And it was set by none other than Mr. Dan Giesling right alongside Apollo here. And that E12 range, man, just unreal. I didn't think we were gonna gonna get anybody that was even close to that here. Dan going again here with the flush five. No breakers. Twelve bill, not too crazy, not too no crazy, but that's arrows. that's not his biggest potential play either. We know that much. I'm gonna check in on Ryan one more time here and see how he's feeling. If he's he's feeling like he's got a chance at bringing this back. Life. Magician, magician, we like magician. There's something you can do with magician. You're gonna get strength two times. Give me a million dollars. Blueprint on Vagabonds. Listen, it's also possible to respect Vagabond too much. I mean, apparently not. One extra discard, things we respect. Fuck you, man. What the hell? What did I do? <laughs> Guys, Chad just hates him when he's That's playing Bellagio. Sheesh. Dan, yeah, that is an issue with the campfire for Dan at this point. He had the bankroll for it to begin with, but now that he's 
now that he's uh, played so many rounds and had to buy so much, it's it's becoming a lot more of a problem. Not to mention he doesn't really have any form of economy uh, from the Jokers. So, yeah, he uh, he might be out of gas at this point, but he's already clearly done enough to uh, to to get himself a seat in the finals. Apollo rocking a, a DNA here as well. Looks like he's kind of shifted his aim a little bit on this one. Rocking the sixth sense now as well. He's going to grab that tarot seal. So not not a ton of, uh, not a ton going on for Apollo down there at the moment. But you know he's already done his work. He's not sweating it too much. It's kind of all on Malfi and Dan here, or sorry, Malfi and Ryan here. Uh, between the two of them, at the moment, I suppose, given the fact that Malf's already on anti eleven. In fact, oh boy, it's starting to get to the point where I wonder if Malf needs to consider just throwing this one out and maybe starting fresh. He's only got 30 minutes left, which is enough time if he plays quickly to get back into a high scoring mode. But I don't know. I, I it's tough. This is it's a very difficult run to give up. I I can absolutely empathize with that, but Oh boy, I, it's I'm not sure. It might even die to this wall to be honest. This is this is rough. He he's also out of money. Yeah, that's uh Oh boy. It's not looking good up there unfortunately. I love yet again that uh Ryan has managed to It's a very aesthetically satisfying way to play the game is is what ryan does he's always creating decks that when the hands are generated you're just like oh that looks nice only scores like 250k but that's that's a good looking hand all them seals all them bonuses all them steel cards all them lucky cards dan's still cooking down here man again we're we're, we're doubtful that he's going to be able to reach the threshold he did before but Still a possibility down there. Looking at what Malf's got going on again, it's just... It really just feels like it should be better now than it is. <laughs> or, sorry, Jesus, bit my damn tongue. It, it feels like it has the potential already. But just... Isn't quite there. The 32 mil, at least. And yeah, he's got some red seals on the steel cards now, too. That's going to help him out a little bit. Big whiff on the shop here, and of course he's still got the, the 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 money issues to deal with. I think at this point too, I believe the next blind is the three hundred million, and I would be I would be very surprised to see him clear that. That temperance card is actually pretty good. Grabs an extra twenty two bucks for the shop here. Could possibly re roll a couple of times and maybe get super lucky there. That looks like a negative Cavendish. For Dan? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh that's gross, Michael. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, that's that not Clubbus. as good, but still something. Clubbus. That negative Cavendish would have been insane. All right. We just picked up at the last minute, Andy. Michael? Michael? <laughs> a gross Michael. Oh, we got the pillar. I, th I don't think we horse here too much. Only just a little bit of horsea. Uh. This old bap is is really kind of sticking it to us right now. Yeah, I missed the old bap again. Yes, but I think we just send it, right? Yeah, we probably. We send it. We can maybe discard Andy. Get a couple more Steelios. Steelio Dan's. Looks like he did pass on the invisible Joker as well. Yeah, which I can't Steal blame me. him. I, don't th I, I think I would have done the same thing. Steal me. It's too big of a risk. Play me. Oh, these have never been played. Yeah, and this break, this break, uh, break. this gross Michael is really just not even worth thinking about. Unfortunately, it's 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 the chance if he's able to survive for that to pop and then instantly generate a Cavendish in the next shop. Like that could be nice, but even that All he right, can't even not? buy That's it. Why not now? Unless it's also negative, which would be absurd. How's Malfi feeling up this. here, we're man? We're gonna get a buffed old map, and we're gonna go Moonball time. No I banana think, I break. I think we're clearing here. I think Dan's clearing here. Oh, yeah. 
did crack a 10, How unfortunately. That's all right, Banana's I think, though. Alive. Let's check in on Malf again here. Three of them? 34 million for Malf. Like, you know? Yeah, he's out of here, man. That's a shame. Let's set a respectable yeah, score here, at least. The deck itself was, was stacked, and then we got the, the discard joker. Our economy wasn't great, There though. it goes, I mean, you yeah. We probably should have, like, had moments where we... Um, saved some money to just get even more rerolls in, but I mean, what are you freaking gonna do? Yeah, it's tough, man. Sometimes you just don't get what you need. Sometimes you accidentally pass it earlier on in the run as well. That will be a third place score at the very least for Malfi with a 34 mil. Respectable, not quite where he needs to be, but I imagine he's at least happier with that than his previous representation. The uh, time is obviously becoming a pretty big factor at this point with only 25 minutes left and uh, Mouse proclivity to play slowly. I, I, I do think he's in pretty big trouble here, but it looks like he's got a little fire under his ass to start off here. At least he's trying to speed things up. So we'll see what he can make out of this. Now, Ryan has gotten rid of his Vagabond. He didn't have that blueprint before, did he? He must have just found that fairly recently. And he's also got the cloned Paradalia. Or, yeah, I think that's what that is again. Oh, no, that's the Sock and uh, Bustian. That's right. So he's got the... Um, uh, well, okay. So, no, hold on. He wants... He still has the Constellation, too. This is this is also kind of kind of scattered here. But he's taken, of course, the, uh, the additional chance of generating Terra off the booster packs for now. How is he... Hmm... This is a weird set of jokers for him right now. It's it's anti eight as well. Huh. Yeah, that's I think he's I think he's unfortunately just still in sort of a mid position here. He's he doesn't really have anything cooking at the moment, but he does have some potential. Some potential to build this up a little bit. Apollo down here with the DNA, meanwhile. I haven't checked in on him in a minute because we kind of just assumed he was coasting but uh this is looking pretty solid but i'm playing it besides nothing ever breaks anyway that's right we've never broken a glass card in our life okay okay watch this no way apollo Ooh. cooking again man 224 mil? mil pretty good pretty good oh that's Ooh, really good. It's, a it's very nice voucher good, because we're not doing that kind of deck but apparently apollo has also gotten Ooh, liquidation in this run, Definitely giving helps. him the uh, fifty percent discount. <laughs> These are only eight dollars. Oh, because I have all the discounts. Yeah, I have all the discounts, man. Yep, yep, yep. I got all those discounts. That was Ooh. a score without the old bat, too, Ooh. wasn't it? Yeah, for Apollo. Uh, Damn. Don't care. Yeah. So that can get quite good, or unless it was, I just misread it. Is good. None of this matters. All right, Mouse trying desperately Bonk. to get something cooking here. Ryan still in basically the same position. We'll check in on Dan one more time once he's uh, managed to set himself up properly. This might actually be all she wrote for Dan. Yeah, without any discards here, unfortunately. I think this is it for him. Yeah, forty-seven billion, just a bit too much. I think you need. I think you needed an old bat to clear we that. We hit E. No, I think you got to be pretty e. thrilled with that, dude. Our highest was 4.183 E12. We get some E12 spam in chat. Now, we're just going to grip it. That's To me, that's the meta deck. Now we go for the Pog deck. Ooh, okay. Pivoting e to the Anaglyph. I like it. We got, we got about 22 minutes. We're holding. Love to see it. All right. We're getting a little variety down there from Dan now, too. Okay, so now all eyes in the final 22 minutes here are on Malf and Ryan. Between the two of them, obviously, Malf in a much worse position at the moment, although does have the flash card, Polly. I mean, that's, that's something. I mean, you can happen across the, uh, happen across the uh, discounted rerolls voucher, maybe get something cooking from that, but not the most exciting start for him to begin with. M meanwhile, Ryan in the very unfortunate position of already being on anti-8, but does have all of the money. So that helps quite a bit. He's holding on to an emulate as well, which could absolutely help things out. And the invisible, ooh. I can't sell anything to... 
It's a fucked up situation where every joker is like, wow, but then, brother, we could sell family and still win easily. And if it copies another constellation or yep. sock and buskin, we're going to the moon, man. Yeah, I'm with it. You got to make a play here I now, man. It, but it's happening. Not the family. Brother, constellations at 3.1 plus 10 versus four <laughs> with a condition. The joker you've been hanging with. Cell hallucination? It's negative, my dog! Bro, they are ripping him a new one. My goodness. Get out of my face. There he goes. There he goes. Making the invisible play. I love it. Still got lots Tell of money here, too. Know. Yeah, chatter. Lock in. Lock in. <laughs> no, obviously, we can't play immolate here. We can play this, though. Mm-hmm. And then drop the fattest discard of 2024 on you. Obviously, that's a discard. Fool into strength. Mm, I don't believe we'll be doing that. And look at that deck. Again, just so visually satisfying. Hold, hold, hold. It's just Hallucination that... is going to get copied, Again, then I'm just... going to laugh. We'll literally feast on the tarot cards that it gives us buy a better then sell it and buy a better joker and put it in the spot i'm like just struggling with this man because where's the scaling coming from it's got it, i mean he's looking for something at this point we're we're absolutely in the mode for nl right now where he is one or two optimal jokers away from going to the moon like that it could happen here it's just it, it he he hasn't found it yet and again we're looking at baron right yeah no yet again we can't seem to avoid the uh, the astronomical potential that Baron would have yet again in a deck like this. There's a couple other uh, routes he could take it, though. I feel like he might want to lean into the amount of money that he has. Yeah, Bull, for example, would be something that could maybe work out pretty well. There's the Baron! Holy shit! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, just do that. You got to sell that sock and buskin, brother. One of them. That's the only way we're getting anywhere I with this. I think it's a skip. I hate to no! say it. No! Oh, no. Just do the math. You have to hold. We have what? What's our hand size? Is there a way to see? I think it's, it's eight, right? Oh, please. So we play five kings. We get 1.5x mult to the power of three. It doesn't clear constellation. I we could play four kings and then we get 1.5 to the power of four, but that's not the way. Oh, but you do you, you re-trigger kings. Yeah. Only man. played kings. No, Only it's, yeah. The sock and buskin does not synergize with this. I'm tr like. You go for high card if you do that. Hmm. Honestly, every run in this game is filled with hard choices. It's this true. might be the it's hardest true. of all. We hold, we stay the course. I mean, I get where he's coming from. I just, oh boy. Okay, no, okay. Really okay I, this is a, this is I don't a great know where Emily. to take it now, though. I if it's actually not do not care. <laughs> ah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hang on for a moment here. The problem that I have is. I want to discard four cards, but what are the odds that I discard four, two kings, two non-kings, and then I get a king, I get four kings back? I mean, that's the difficult part of his like. I got his, one king. His math was was not wrong. I just oh, there's just so much more potential out of the Baron, and he's already so late in the run. I don't know. Like I don't I, I I don't disagree with his logic. It's just I think every now and then you gotta you gotta take a chance, man. You gotta just you just gotta swing for the fences. But he's gonna stick with the double sock and buskin here. Which obviously with the Crimson Heart not really gonna be a a huge impact, but we're still in the same spot with him where it's just a matter of a lack of scalability. Well, we'll trust him, I suppose. Meanwhile, as we were saying that, man, I know it's kind of irrelevant to the final standings at this point, but Apollo was cooking again. Ooh, you. 
Look at this deck. Play our flesh five for the first time. Like that. Oh no! Copy first, idiot! Idiot moron! <laughs> idiot stupid! <laughs> I only got 16 minutes left. I want to beat my. Bellatro brings out the best in people, man. Ridiculously high score, and then the like, the the balls to immediately beat it on the next one is kind of goaded. Absolutely. Yeah, no, this is uh, but it's I not quite the. And I'm gonna have to start taking a lot of time per turn to like figure this shit out. It's not quite the obviously cracked potential that we were seeing from his uh, his previous Baron run into the E's, but no, nah, this is this is certainly the foundation for something pretty strong again. Meanwhile, Malfi up here in the top left, he's found himself the Spades. He's got Gross Michael back. He's got the uh, he's got the Card Sharp again. Just sort of some mid Jokers collectively here, but certainly enough to fuel him into the later rounds. He is playing significantly more quickly than I'm used to seeing out of him. Like I said, he's got that fire lit under his ass. He knows he's running out of time here, so you'd like to see that at the very least, but hopefully that does not uh, lead to him making some misplays. It seems as though he's slow and... Or, uh, he's, he's, he's keeping it steady so far. He's, he's keeping it under control, but that time crunch is certainly going to be weighing on him. Let's listen in on Malfi and see how he's feeling. The stoic silence of a true competitor. Banana's hanging on for dear life. He knows. This is the last uh, rodeo. He does want that gross Michael <laughs> to pop as quickly yeah, as moment. possible for the Cavendish chance. Mercury, please. Let's go. Okay. 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 He's going for the pair here, too. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I'm so scared. Just constant poo-poo activations from Mouse Chat. Uh, yeah, we're playing Ghost Deck. All right, well, we'll let we'll let Mouth cook a little bit more. Final 13 minutes here, though, man. So we're not gonna go with a hard time cut off. By the way, I'm not gonna jump in and be like, "It's over, you're done." We're we're gonna let them wrap up what they've got going on. We'll get final round scores from everybody. We'll, we'll figure things out at the end here. But as it stands right now, man, I think it's looking incredibly likely that we'll, uh, that we'll be seeing Dan and Apollo in the finals on Thursday. Looking forward to that, man. I'd, I'd love to see this performance from Dan. I, I, I know he's got it in him for these sorts of games and absolutely showed up today. Group two will be immediately after this, so we'll uh, we'll have like a few minutes of setup as we uh, get the next next four competitors in here into the Discord and ready to go. But uh, as soon as they're in, we'll we'll immediately follow up the first round with the second one. Yeah, thank you for tuning in, y'all. I really appreciate it. It's been very fun so far, and looking forward to the round or round two as well. All right. So, oh boy, hold on now. Right, yeah, we got the uh, we got the triple buskin for Ryan. Oh my goodness! Like it's just it's just not good. <laughs> it's, it's fine, but it's not good enough. What's up, brother? He's quad buskin, yeah, for real. Honestly, with I'm, the blueprint go in there, man. <laughs> he do he do be loving his buskin. Fool for buskin Eris? makes him feel good. Oh man. Plus an heiress? Hey, sure, why not? You can't go pee, we're locked in. I guess I only got like 10 minutes left, so I should That's just true. hold it. That's even true. though it's bad for you. Oh man. I just I don't want I don't wanna be a hater. Okay, flush five or five of a kind, everything's chilling. I wanna, Wait, so, I wanna be a I'm typical you, northern you. lion chatter. Yeah, necessary. You're in the commentary You're booth. You're antithetical to my goals. But I just don't see a route to victory here, man. <clears throat> Me personally, I'd pop this for absolutely no reason. Move blueprint. 
brother. You don't you don't understand the designs that we're playing at right now, okay? Apparently. We have no more Glass Kings. Here's the thing. As soon as we start to play this, that's it. Because <laughs> the Kings are going to break. Yep. Just bank on it. So get ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Apollo's got the double polychrome busting. This is, this, we're doing it, okay? Okay, that's fine. And it fun. should be a flush five. It's slightly better. We're doing it. The dusk as well, five. yeah. Oh, did Ryan just see a mime and a shot too? Oh boy, that could have gone so hard. Cooler heads. All right, heads. here we go. Lucky flush you five. You like flush five? You're not wrong. It's a good play. Yeah, there you go. All right, how's this doing? So I don't think realistically we're we're probably not going to be able to beat Apollo's score just due to his run being amazing, but also time. But um. Maybe second? If we're if we're not still in second, maybe there's a chance that we could eke out second and make it to the make it to the next round. Yeah, I got bad news for you there, buddy. Bad news, brother. First and second basically the same. Oh no, Apollo! Just kings or queens and it's not like we were gonna see any of those cards anyway. Oh buddy, that's um, rough. That's a rough right, draw on the boss blind. I'm happy. We had uh, we had like two out of the top three highest scores today. So yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I think we he's got to like be thrilled with that. Out of the top three highest scores today. Let me check in on Ryan here. So it looks like Apollo is going to be bowing out there. One last check in on Malfi here. Maybe Emperor money. Uh... Hmm. Oh, uh, we're really late into Malf's run already, too. Kudos to Malfi for picking up the pace here. Ask me if I give a frick. <laughs> do you, give, do you give a frick? Invisible Joker, too. Wow, interesting. I, you gotta go for it, right? You gotta go for it. Taking the grabber, too? Yeah, I'd do it. Okay. And he knows he's got to fly. He's he's going for it. All eyes on Malf at this point with the final eight minutes to go. I just, again, I'm not to be a type A commentator up in here, but I definitely feel like Ryan's uh, ceiling is far lower than Malf's at this point. So we'll keep an eye over here and see what he can cook up. Come on. Uh, this is the, you know, I'd like to be able to copy that. I don't know. You, maybe copy Sock and Buskin. Can you imagine an invisible joker copying copy Sock and Buskin? What a world it would be. Oh, I should have killed some of those. Oops. Get lost in those all. He's flying. He's flying. He knows he's got to speed come it up. Come on. Come on. Precious little come time on. remaining. He's That's trying his best. Grabs a cryptid there, sure. Yeah. Honestly, the reroll joker is kind of going hard here for him, too. It's been a significant piece of the puzzle here. Break me off a piece of those fancy kings. Come on, Malfi. I guess you could have played a uh, five of a kind, but I don't really want to do that. That's not my MO right now. I'm loving this, man. He is just... He's on autopilot. He's ready. Through these first eight annies. Are you kidding me? Where were you on the last run, man? Oh, boy. Do we have any steel? Oh, Not really. No, yeah. Hey, he does dupe his reroll joker, though. Okay, he's got the polychrome doubled up now. The frick? Where were you? I know, it's so fucked up. It's still we were destroyed. I try. I'm trying not to get too um, uh, defeatist go, go, here, go, but go. we know where the bar is at. We know what's what's required to uh, to clear it, and we're we're just not seeing anything close to that. Why didn't I just buy it? What the heck? In our top we two competitors to at the moment.
Ryan's still just trying to make the most of it here. He's going to get another cloned Red Seal Steel King, which is always nice, but ah, it's just not enough at this point, man. I do think, yeah, at some point Ryan's got to go for a full send on those Glass Kings. But even that is just... Don't sell Joker on the boss. I, I mm. would be very surprised if that oh, came that guy? anywhere yeah. close well, to what, what he minutes, needs so. here. I don't know if it matters, but... We'll have this up over on YouTube, TJ, yeah, after the event's done. Oh, man, Spectral maybe, but even that, I just, I don't even know what the miracle is for, for Malfi at this point. It's just looking rough. Too early for that the glass idol. joker a little earlier on for Ryan might have been something, especially with oops all sixes. Any ten though, that's that's a little too late. My man's sitting on two hundred bucks. Sheesh. Red had gas to have more time. It's kind of nice to be like, you know able to get a run going a little bit. Yeah, it's, it is sad we didn't have time. The last run, we were going to restart, and then instead, we didn't. <laughs> and uh, it was really good. We just I was, never got a freaking... I think I was saying, too, know? man, I, I felt like on that last run that Malfi had, I can understand his hesitance, but yeah, it absolutely felt like he might have needed to let that one go a little earlier just to have some more time on the clock right now. But... uh yeah, at this point, it's looking a little grim. Let's go with uh, one last check-in with Dan down here, see how he's doing. He actually looks like he's got something decent cooking here, too. I'm sure he's feeling pretty confident still after that E-run. Oh, I did not even right, realize. Hey, Look right. at the double tags for Dan. My All God. All cards debuffed. We sleep. If he finds a worthwhile skip here, that's going to be fun. All right, we'll probably double this, Andy. Fishing for the negative, yeah, makes sense. See you on the flip side, brother. What's up, What's brother? Up, brother? I'm hoping for we it. I want to see get it. Get rid of Joey Pants. So right now we got we got a pocket full of eights. We got a stack of double tags. All we need in life. All we need is a negative, a yep. negative button, and we win this thing hands down the easiest in the entire world. I don't care if you're watching right now on Bear's channel or what. What's, What's up, up, brother? <laughs> Blue seal me, red seal me. Yes, please. Seal he does me, also seal need me, to keep in mind the three and a half minutes remaining it. on the clock. If, if he gets those negatives, it might be uh, too little too late. But more. again, no, no reason for him to Use it push we got for much higher than he's already got. Connie. Ryan now with a 3.8 mil. Okay, Negative. okay. You peace. We it's not nothing. Checking on him again. Eris, we take that. <laughs> I'm sure they know about the timer. Yeah, I'm sure they're aware of it. Mars, we take... Wait, no, 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 we got it. Two minutes. Two minutes, you got to beat the boss. Yep. Playing a high card sets money to zero. How is high card still our most played hand? That's... It's insane. We don't play our glasses yet. Don't don't get confused on this one, okay? We don't play our glasses I don't yet. Oh man, it might be time. That's why I'm dumping glasses. Okay, all right, you're the boss. We play our. Yeah, it's the wrong one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. That's the right one. There you okay, go. Okay, so That's first, it. you play your luckies, okay? Yep. I there's a method to the madness. We pop this all on the small blind. Why didn't you put it on the red one? Because I want to make sure that I'm putting it on something that I can actually guaranteed play on the next fucking hand. It's just every time we check in it's on It's not going to help me if I put it on that and then I don't draw it on the so next fight, y'all. Oh, it's so funny. You're not thinking. I'm the only person thinking here. <laughs> Everybody else is just typing. One minute. One minute we got plenty of time. Just give me Planet X. We'll, we'll split the difference. We go next. We play it. We would love to draw Red Seal. We I don't, don't, no, don't blame him at all, yet. dude. I'd do the same thing well, if I was him. You know what? 10,000 people fucking yelling at you on every decision. No, because we could draw two Red Seals. 
Well, well, well. It'd be the exact same way. <laughs> well, okay, well, well. okay, here we go. Has vindication ever felt so sweet? <laughs> I don't care if we got 10 seconds. We're gonna we're gonna nut up here and look for the best possible. This is hand, it, okay? man. Yeah, I think this is it's coming down we're not to this. Rush. Looks like Malfi might be SOL as well. Remaining, unfortunately, over there. Discards. Yeah. All right. I think it's coming down to the wire here. Seven kings remaining. One last go for another glass king for Ryan. It stings to only get three glass. Yeah. But at it least does. some of the glass are triggering twice. All right. Okay, there he it. goes. Send it. It's not enough, but at least it will be a respectable score. Maybe they won't break. Pretty good. Pretty good, good, man. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> you got to be happy with that. One more glass could have absolutely made a difference there. That but... was 94 billion? Oh, well, okay. not enough. 94 one. billion, I'm not sweating. Yeah, no. 94 that's... million, I was like, what the hell happened? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that will, I think, just about wrap it up as Malf is uh, looking like he's going to be more than likely dying in the next uh, couple of rounds. Oh, my God. That's way too loud. Ah, panic. Stop. Stop. Shut up. Stop this. Stop playing that very loud sound. What the hell? I didn't know it was going to be that loud. Holy shit. All right. Are you all aware that the round is over now? I, I think you, I may have alerted you. To the conclusion of the event. <laughs> Holy Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, how about a round of bear claps for our competitors, y'all? Hell yeah. That was a great first round. We got round two coming up immediately following this, but we're going to jump into the uh, main voice call here with the boys and uh, see how they're feeling after that first round here. Dan and Apollo moving on to the finals. We'll check in on them here. Dan. Yo. Huge congrats, buddy. You've made it to the finals. Wait, I, I made it? You made it. Second place. You you very, very nearly beat Apollo. It was you were both at E12. You were just shy, but you you have locked in a spot on the finals Wait. on Thursday. Congrats. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So it was me, Ryan, Northern Line, Michael A.L. Fox, and Apollo, and who's moving on? It's you and Apollo. Dan Giesling and Dumb Dog will be moving on to round two on Thursday. Man, the, two, the two biggest egghead DAE guys lost in the first round. You know what? <laughs> I, 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 congratulations to Northern Line and Melf. Um, it was a hard fought. Were they close? Who was close? Uh, Ryan just uh, grabbed a new high score for himself at the tail end here on a Glass Kings build. He scored, I think, just shy of 100 billion. So not okay. quite into the ease territory, but, you know, at least something respectable. Mouth just he just had a rough day, man. He just couldn't get anything cooking today. Never really cleared a billion or anything close to it. So it's not not his day, I guess. Hey, you know what they say? Any port in the storm. Good luck in the uh, the second session, Baron. Hey. I'll see you in the finals, buddy. Yeah, looking forward to having you, man. I'll see you there. I right, see ya. Next day, what is it? Dumb dog. Hello. Congrats, buddy. You've locked in a first place finish here for group one, and we'll see you on Thursday in the final, man. Hell yeah. Thanks. I was watching the ending there. Ryan was so close. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, okay. I don't know if you saw him pass up the Baron on that run I as heard well. about it. But it was more that on that last play, he had two steel cards. He discarded also both steel true. cards. Also true. Yeah, he got a that little unlucky me. with the glass cards in the final hand. He discarded those steel cards, too. That could have made a difference. I don't think it would have been an E12 kind of difference. He could have gotten into the E's possibly with the right kind of setup there. But, yeah, he's just, just, just a little shy. Well, what's crazy is I think if the timer wasn't over, I think he will pass Dan with this run, which is crazy. I think he'll pass me with this run too. Yeah. No, it's I, I I'm shocked that the the quadruple sock and buskin is performing as well as it is. I was a doubter, but I mean yeah, more power to him, dude. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. All right. Well congrats buddy. Looking forward to Thursday. Thank you, thank you. I think we had yeah, we had a bunch of red seals um on them as well, but we did not get the mime or baron or anything like that. So, D Dan, are you post game interviewing Malf? That's my job. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to Malf. Okay, Malfi. Hello. How are you feeling, man? Couldn't quite get anything cooking today. Yeah, I don't know if like what you saw of my previous run, but it it had it had 
the 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 one you're on right now yeah no this this one no, definitely no, not this one. Oh, this the previous one ones the previous run we actually after you interviewed us we kind of like um we got the whole deck was like steel kings red seals oh right right yeah no but that... we didn't we we couldn't uh find a mime or a baron or anything right like that, yeah so. that's right yeah no sorry we had like four or five baron runs today so i was getting them confused with the other one but yeah no that's, that's to be expected it's yeah. definitely the meta right now it feels like right yeah no, it's just it's it's tough to avoid building into that when just the potential for it i mean like apollo just showed off it's is just ridiculous yeah like um it, we had we had some other like we got a bunch of negative jokers just in the shop and stuff we had luck in that regard but um no blueprints no brainstorms yeah yeah mimes, right. all that kind of stuff so um but outside of that i'm happy that it was a run that earlier on people were like you should just restart um yeah and then and then we just we kind of went with it yeah we made it our own so did what we could it was fun um but you know it's the way she goes the yeah she goes all right well thanks for playing man love to have you hopefully we'll have you another in another one in the future if we hold them i i anticipate you'd be interested i'm always down to clown mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. you always down to clown uh just uh yeah let me know all and right i'll show Sounds yeah. good, man. Well played. Thanks for thanks for playing with us today. I'll see you Thank soon. You. GG's. GG. Oh, Ryan has me deafened. Okay, so I guess <laughs> this doesn't feel much like talking. He probably just wants to finish off this run, actually. So we'll we'll, we'll leave him to his uh, business here. Uh, I'm gonna hop back into the main channel in just a second, as we do have group two ready to go. Let me go ahead and get this switched over real fast. We've got our second set of competitors ready to go.